Welcome to this short video on how to navigate through your new ebook. One of the things that I do when I first open the ebook in Adobe Acrobat Reader is to close windows that I don't need. So this window on the right hand side I'm not going to use, so I'm going to close that. You'll notice that the table of contents for the book opened automatically for me on the left hand window, but this may not always happen. You may have something that looks more like this showing the book cover. Click on this little arrow on the left hand side to open that menu bar, then click on the bookmarks tab. The bookmarks provide you with the table of contents for the book. From here you can navigate to all of the high level sections of the book. So if you want to look at domain one, for example, which introduces one part of the book, and then look at chapter three within that domain, or you can scroll down and look at chapter 18, or look at the Enhanced Interactive Glossary if you want to navigate through and look at the key terms in a sequential manner. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the book here and look at Chapter 2 and talk about a few other important navigation tips. One of the things that I've done in each chapter is I've created a table of key concepts that run through the entire book and this table in each chapter highlights the ones that I'm specifically addressing or that other contributing authors are specifically addressing within their chapters. It's important to be able to navigate internally within the chapters in an easy way. So one of the things you want to make sure you have is this back button displaying up here at the top on this menu bar. If that button isn't there, right click on the menu bar, go to Show Page Navigation Tools, and click on Previous View. I'm going to click on it here to deactivate it so you'll see that it's disappeared. Then I'll right click again, go to Page Navigation Tools, pick Previous View, and I've activated my back button. Why that's really important is because each of these concepts are linked to the section of the chapter that addresses that particular concept. So if you want to look at cultural encapsulation, you can just click on that concept and it'll take you to the section of the chapter where I've addressed that idea. You'll also notice that within each of these sections, some words are in blue. Those words are active links to the glossary. You can look, for example, at cultural encapsulation, which is the theme we're looking at here. Click on that word and it will take you to the glossary definition. And this is where you need your back button, because you can then go back to that section of the chapter and back to that section of the table. Let's try this again with a different item. So we go to contextualized situational identities, use the back button, and go directly back to this portion of the chapter. One of the other settings that's useful in Adobe Acrobat Reader is to make sure that your view is set to single page as it is now. So if I went to page display and set it to two page display, you can still use the book, but some of the functionality is a little bit tricky because when you click on something like, um, let's go back to cultural encapsulation, it takes you to the page where cultural encapsulation shows up, but it doesn't take you to directly to the top of the section that you're supposed to look at, which is much more functional in the single page view. So if we go back to the single page view, and we click on cultural encapsulation, you'll notice that it's much easier to identify within that page rather than within two pages, the section that relates to cultural encapsulation. I'm gonna actually increase my size here of my um, image again so that I can see that better. Okay, let's take a look at how the glossary functions because it's also very interactive. So pick a term like cultural identity. You've been taken directly to the glossary Within the glossary, you may want to spend some time navigating between key terms. So these highlighted, uh, not highlighted, but these blue words here are all active links as well. Click on that link and read a little bit about the salience of culture. If you're not sure what's meant by the term social location, click on the term social location. You can navigate your way around the glossary in a way that allows you to appreciate the interconnectedness of the definitions of all of these key terms. You can then use your back button to go back again to the chapter, 
where you were, or you could have just clicked on the um, chapter heading in the table of contents and found your way back to the chapter that way, used the table to navigate yourself back to where you were reading. Most ebooks enhance the navigation by using a traditional index that you'd like you'd find in a print book. I've done this a little bit differently by centering chapter one as the focal point of the model that's presented in the book and the way of navigating like you would through an index. So excuse me while I scroll down here a little bit till we get to the table that looks at the competencies in key terms that form the foundation for this ebook. So you can see here there's a big table that has the various competencies the learning objectives within each competency and each of the key terms that appears repeatedly throughout the book. One of the things that's really important about this table is that it allows you to follow the terms in a nonlinear fashion. So if you're looking at the concept of fluidity, for example, you might want to look at the glossary definition. If you kick on, click on this word fluidity, it will take you back to this section of chapter one where we were looking at the concept of fluidity. You can also find out where in the ebook the conceptual content related to fluidity is. So that's in chapter two. Click on fluidity and it'll take you to that section in chapter two that deals with fluidity. Use your back button. You're back to the concept of fluidity. You can also then click on another chapter. So the chapter by Fisher Laval and see how she deals with the concept of fluidity. So, oops, so we scroll down, we pick the concept of fluidity, and it takes us to this section where she talks about the fact that this individual's uh, ethnic identity was perceived as somewhat fluid. You won't always find the word fluidity because I didn't want to interfere with the language that the authors were using, but I've highlighted a word in here that the concept that this person could pass as white as part of the concept of fluidity. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the glossary definition of fluidity. Let's go back and look at another example. So we use the back button to click back and we get back to our concept of fluidity. We may want to then look at um, not a full chapter, but a practice illustration that's been added by Mati Quasquas. And here you can see how he has addressed the issue of fluidity in terms of religion. Again, you can click on the um, word and go to the definition. You can quickly go back to chapter one to fluidity if you don't want to actually go back to the section um, that you've traveled to in the ebook. I hope this is clear. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit, but it gives you a way to navigate through the ebook in a nonlinear way and explore a particular concept rather than reading through each chapter sequentially, which will also provide you with a different lens on the material.